So Dr. Olasek, tell me why you say that the VI peel in tandem with the photofacial is so beneficial. Well, the VI peel and the photofacial are a great treatment pair. First of all, the VI peel takes off a few layers of skin and helps improve texture and fine lines and the, and the sunspots. And then after a few weeks, you can really go after the sun damage with the photofacial because those extra layers have been taken off. A VI peel is a medium depth peel, so not only does it give you great results, but it also has minimal amount of pain that goes along with it. So it stings for a little bit, and then it takes off the top three layers of skin, and you peel really heavy for a few days, and then after that your skin looks soft and fresh, and uh, sun damage is improved. A lot of people are kind of scared of a chemical peel. Why should they not be scared of it? Well, this is a very specific concentration of medicine that we've used for a long time, and we know exactly how how deep it's going to go. So we know how how much we can use and the results that we get. Joyce, before we get started, I'm just going to hand you this fan. And after we apply the first layer of peel, you can go ahead and fan as often as you need. You'll feel an intense warmth, almost like a sunburn, with the first layer of peel. And because the peel contains phenol, you'll then feel your skin numb. What it does is dehydrate the skin initially significantly exfoliate the skin. Um, it's great for pigmentation, it's great for minor scarring, um, fine lines and wrinkles. So it really helps to boost collagen and tighten the skin as well. With the VI peel, you really are taking off the first couple layers of skin. Um, it's not scary though. Your skin will be bright, um, more even toned, it'll be more firm. This is the VI peel solution. So we've already cleansed and toned her skin and prepped it for the peel, and this is the actual peel itself. You definitely want to stay away from any products that have active ingredients, such as glycolic acid, salicylic acid, retinol. You want to, for the next week while you're peeling, just use very gentle products. We recommend Cetaphil, it's a nice gentle cleanser and moisturizer. Be careful with your sun exposure, so make sure that you're loading up on your sunblock, you're moisturizing as often as possible, and if you need to be in the sun, wear a hat just to protect your skin. It's summertime. Um, a lot of people think, well, I don't want to do a chemical peel or a photofacial because I'm going to be in the sun. But that's sort of a myth. Yeah, as long as you use sun protection afterwards and don't go on a big beach holiday, th these treatments are very safe with usual daily uh, sun exposure. And, and you should be wearing sunblock every day anyway, right? Yeah, it should be part of your routine. Yeah, and truly when you think about it, the winter can be just as bad or worse than summer because of the snow and the reflection. That's right, it can be worse, and especially in Colorado where people ski, that's more intense sun exposure than generally what we get in the su summertime here. It's important to get the neck done too because it's an extension of the face, and a lot of women as we age, um, we get creepiness through the neck and the decollete, so it's good just to get the chemical peel, just to get an even exfoliation. And I think that in the past we've said um, that if you don't, if you're too scared to do a laser, the VI peel is, a bit, is about as close as you can get. Yeah, the VI peel is as close as you get. It's just one step below the laser resurfacing. Well, photofacial is a light-based therapy that penetrates through the skin and selectively damages the brown spots and the broken blood vessels. And then over the next week, the brown spots lift off, lightening the skin, blending the color, and then also decreasing the broken blood vessels. So it all kind of comes to the surface and then it's sloughed off. Yep. Yeah. So why is it good to do the VI peel first? And typically you usually do that how many weeks before or after the VI peel? We like to use the VI peel first, a few weeks before, and that really gets off all the dead layers of skin and leaves the fresh skin. And then the photofacial is really able to penetrate really well and get the best results. Sure. A lot of people think when I tell them about IPLs, they're like, well, that's a laser, but it's not. No, it's not a laser. It's a, a green light that we use that actually is very specific to treat sun damage. So it only treats the browns and the reds, the brown sunspots and the red broken blood vessels. And what about fine lines? Do they both address that? Um, they both address fine lines. So you get a double whammy there. You get fine line improvement with the VI peel and with the photofacial and stimulation of collagen with both treatments as well. And so there's a series of photofacials that you should do to really get the best results. And how much does it typically cost? 
Generally it costs $350 for a photofacial, but this month we're having that special for half off if you purchase a VI peel. And generally you, we recommend three treatments, but sometimes people are happy with one when we do the, the combination of the VI peel and the photofacial. So we just usually just see how it goes after every treatment. What you'll feel is a slight pinch. You'll feel a heat and then a pinch with every pulse. Initially, your skin will feel like a mild sunburn, typically for two to 24 hours after the treatment, and that'll dissipate. And we recommend treating it almost as a sunburn. So if you want to apply aloe, you can do that. She can definitely go outside. I don't want to scare my patients by saying you can't have any sun exposure. It's just about being protected. So make sure you're wearing at least an SPF 30 or 45.